1939, Russian scientist Semyon Kurlian accidentally discovered that if an object on a photographic plate is subjected to a strong enough electrical charge, an image is created on the plate. By photographing the coronal discharge that occurs between an electrically grounded object and the electrode generating the field, the sparks captured on film show multicolored, multi-frequency energy waves ranging from below infrared to above ultraviolet. These images have since become known as Curlian photography, or biofield electrography. Curlian photography has now been studied and tested extensively in many reputable laboratories around the world, and has shown consistent color, shape, and frequency correlations with various emotional and physical states. For example, UCLA Neuropsychiatric Institute's Dr. Thelma Moss has recorded consistent patterns correlating fingertip coronas with specific emotions. Healthy, happy, relaxed subjects regularly exhibit quarter-inch wide blue and white coronas, while stressed, anxious, or nervous subjects consistently exhibit blotchy red coronas. In another study, she found that when photographed together, close friends generate brighter and more convergent coronas than strangers. Being photographed with strict authority figures produces smaller coronas, while being photographed with unassuming, unintimidating people produces larger coronas. When two people place their fingers on the same film, both images always come out clearly, but if they look into each other's eyes while the photo is taken, one of the fingerprints is blanked out and disappears. Dr. Moss's strange findings sparked interest at the U.S. Heuristic Institute, where they performed their own Curlian biofield experiments with intimate couples. When partners were instructed to place their fingers on the film and focus unpleasant, unloving thoughts towards one another, their coronal patterns did not merge at all. When the couples focused pleasant, loving thoughts towards one another, their patterns began to merge. And when they kissed each other during the photographs, their coronal boundaries dissolved into one. Some people were even able to withhold their coronas by tensing all the muscles in their bodies. In experiments with Dr. J. L. Hickman, psychic Yuri Geller was able to consciously direct the shape of his fingertip coronas, making circles, squares, straight lines, and triangles at will. The International Curlian Research Association released that the German magazine Esotera describes an interpersonal study conducted with Curlian photography. Two individuals in a psychiatrist's office were asked to put their fingers next to each other and take a picture. They were asked to return once a week for three weeks. The Curlian photos revealed the man to be very attracted to this woman large, expansive corona in her direction, but her corona discharge indicated that she did not feel an attraction towards him, small, tight corona. The second week revealed the man to be extremely persistent, and it looked as if she might be more responsive, slightly converging coronas. The third week shows two bright, happy coronas blending, and we are told that they are living happily ever after. Dr. Moss also conducted experiments showing that cancerous tissue is easily distinguished from healthy tissue using Curlian imaging. In one study, she was able to separate 100 healthy control rats from 100 other rats injected with cancer simply by the dramatic difference in corona emanations. Romanian doctor Lone Dumitrescu also used Curlian imaging to detect cancer tissue. He screened 6,000 industrial workers for cancer and found 47 malignant tumors, while conventional doctors found only 41. By analyzing the coronal discharge channels, their geometry, color, and energetics, he was able to detect cancer better than traditional imaging and laboratory tests. Various studies involving plant coronas have gleaned interesting information as well. For example, the viability of seeds can be determined by Curlian images, since fertile seeds show much larger coronal ejections than dead seeds. Healthy seeds have a deep blue aura, and as the root tips sprout, they show up pinkish-red, indicating where the most active growth is taking place. Researchers also found that dew forms on plant leaves in exactly the same locations as maximum flare patterns. They found that male plant stamens always come out blue, while the female ovary photographs are always gold, and most impressively, when a leaf is torn in half, then photographed, the outline of the entire leaf is still clearly visible in its discharge pattern. Eric Pepin wrote, Physical evidence of the energy body exists, and a number of different sources document it. 
The first of these is Russian engineer Semya Kurlian, who discovered that living tissue emits electromagnetic force fields that show up on photosensitive paper. Using his photographic technique, a leaf with a portion of it cut out still shows the outline of its missing part. Even though it is not there physically, the photograph shows an outline as if it was. This prompts suggestions that Curlian photography reveals the energy body. Curlian photographs show energy emanating from the body. A picture of a hand, for example, depicts the fingers illuminated by energy. If two people touch fingertips, the energy appears to fight until both people accept the presence of the other. Another interesting case involves people who have amputated feet and legs. These people frequently report intense pain originating from phantom limbs. When a person places their hand on the area of pain, where the missing limb would be, and massages it as if there was a hand or limb there, the pain stops. At the point of death, the human body inexplicably loses several ounces of weight. Studies have also shown that when photographed with light-sensitive film, for an amount of nanoseconds, less than a second, a large illumination expands from the body and disappears upon death. These examples all point toward the conclusion that a separate body or being composed of energy inhabits the physical human body. The bioelectric fields captured by Curlian photographs are postulated by many to be an expression of the aura representing our chi life force energy. Psychics, mystics, and shamans the world over in traditions including Christian, Chinese, Japanese, Egyptian, and Tibetan have all talked about being able to see a faint multicolored corona or halo around people's physical bodies and heads. This aura emanates from the energy body, which exists within and permeates the physical body. Healthy, positive, and spiritual people are said to have glowing white gold auras, while unhealthy, negative, or immoral people have more subdued, darker color auras. Each person's aura is said to be unique, but constantly changing based on thoughts, mood, disease, environment, and other factors. Experiments with Curlian photographs and bioelectrography have proved very consistent with ancient definitions of the aura. Michael Talbot wrote, one mystical phenomenon that appears to involve the ability to see reality's frequency aspects is the aura, or human energy field. The notion that there is a subtle field of energy around the human body, a halo-like envelope of light that exists just beyond normal human perception, can be found in many ancient traditions. In India, sacred writings that date back over 5,000 years refer to this life energy as prana. In China, since the 3rd millennium BC, it has been called qi, and is believed to be the energy that flows through the acupuncture meridian system. Kabbalah, a Jewish mystical philosophy that arose in the 6th century BC, calls this vital principle nephish, and teaches that an egg-shaped bubble of iridescence surrounds every human body. In their book Future Science, writer John White and parapsychologist Stanley Krippner list 97 different cultures that refer to the aura with 97 different names. Adrian Cooper wrote, The aura is also an extremely accurate indicator of spiritual attainment. Highly spiritual evolved people will be instantly recognizable by a vivid, clean, dynamic aura, the most prominent feature of which is an intense bright golden yellow area extending from and around the crown of the head. Sometimes the aura can be so intense it can even be viewed by people not usually possessing the ability of auric vision. It is also this intense golden aura around the head of highly spiritual people that gives rise to the so-called halo, as often, for example, depicted around the head of Jesus or a saint. Skeptics claim that Curlian photography is merely capturing variances in pressure, humidity, temperature, voltage, etc., and not some mystical aura. It is true that New Age fairs and internet sites sell aura cameras, often marketing them as Curlian cameras, these are indeed misleading, and serve no practical purpose beyond that of a mood ring. However, electrophysiological studies have shown that corona emanation of true Curlian photographs does not relate to temperature, perspiration, galvanic skin response, vasoconstrictions, or dilations. While it may be easy for some to discount 97 traditions around the world and their descriptions of the aura, it is much harder to discount Dr. Moss and Dr. Dumitrescu's amazing work with cancer detection or the Heuristic Institute's results involving couples. Dr. Edward Condrit wrote, The greatest advance in the utilization of Curlian photography 
was made by the efforts of the German doctor Peter Mandel, who was trained as an acupuncturist. He observed that by treating disease states with acupuncture points, the corresponding deficiencies in the Curlian photograph would change. After years of research, Dr. Mandel has developed a diagnostic and treatment program based on Curlian analysis. Disease states are caused by energy blockages. The Curlian photograph helps to determine the overall energy flow of the body and locations of energy blockage, which are manifested in the disease state. Dr. Mandel has categorized types of energy patterns on the Curlian into endocrine, toxic, and degenerative. Endocrine is the pre-disease state. The patient has symptoms, but there is no discernible pathology. The Curlian can be extremely valuable in locating the area of blockage. The second type of disturbance in the energy pattern is the toxic state. This is when tissue changes develop, such as inflammation, congestion, and blockages of energy flow in the body. The third type is the degenerative type, where the body begins to show destructive tissue changes.